what do you do when you're scared of giving birth? Let's take a few minutes now to talk about how to stop anxiety about giving birth to your baby. Now, if you're interested, a great starting place is my 11 mom-tested techniques for handling labor pain without the epidural. I would be happy to send you that little cheat sheet. It's easy, printable. You can study it now and keep it with you during your birthing time. Just drop a line below and I will send you that. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Kristen and I am a pregnancy coach. I work with mamas all over the world. I've had my own eight babies naturally and I love helping moms enjoy a great healthy pregnancy and prepare for an awesome natural birth. Each day I'm bringing you an actionable tip to help you prepare to give your baby a beautiful beginning. Like I said, today we're going to talk about how to stop your anxiety and fear over giving birth. So my number one tip is to face the fear. That's right. Most women think either I'm terrified of birth, I don't want to do it, I can't do it, and that's it. That's all she wrote. Or they say, birth is natural, it might hurt, but I'll get through it. And both of those types of women often end up with the same outcome, which is they're overwhelmed by giving birth, they're asking for pain medications, they're in a cascade of interventions that they didn't want. So facing your fears about birth is a good first place to start, especially if what you're worried about is the sensations or intensity or pain of birth. So start by looking at what am I worried about and then look at it really honestly. I want you to look at it with a perspective of how would I handle this? Think about it. I heard a great analogy the other day. I've loved sports analogies for birth for a long time, but I heard the other day somebody say, look at those athletes who are out there in the middle of a race or a marathon or something. Do they look happy? Do they look like they're enjoying themselves? They look like they're enjoying themselves when they cross the finish line, but while they're in the moment, they look like they're having to strive and struggle. And I know you might say, well, Kristen, I never wanted to be an athlete because I didn't want that level of struggle, but I want you to realize that when women are able to overcome and be athletes, you are able to do the same for birth. Birth is something that your body is meant to do. So sit down and ask yourself, what are you scared of with birth? What's giving you anxiety? Is it worrying about the intensity of it? Is it worrying that you won't be able to handle the contractions? A lot of mom tells me, tell me that it's worrying that they'll get they'll lose control or go out of control of the situation. If you're a survivor, that might especially be something that's there for you. So look at the fears of birth. And if you need to, get a professional to help you walk through it. A lot of moms though, when they sit down and write, what am I worried about? Then they'll see things like, I'm worried that it'll hurt. And then you'll also start to notice things like, oh, my boyfriend or mom said I wouldn't be able to do it. Or my uncle mentioned that I was, you know, a pansy when I was a kid and so I'm not going to be able to do it. You will find all of these external beliefs coming in. And while I'm going to actually say that those beliefs are probably not very valid, they are something that you need to work through. So the next thing that you want to do with the things that come from within you and from outside of you is to get the facts. So the fact is, is that birth is not some torturous event. In fact, the hormones and physiology of labor and birth are there to make birth an ecstatic experience. For many women, it's an experience that they need to work through because your baby is opening your body and coming down through and you may need to work with your birthing time and work with your body and work with your baby during that time. But understand the facts. Understand what is happening in your body. This model that we have of giving birth is all about getting to 10 centimeters and then the doctor delivers the baby or the midwife delivers the baby is a gross oversimplification and mechanization of a process that is a complex biological physiological process so much happens and we don't have time to go into all of it on this uh, one video but what I want you to understand is that so much is going on and you need knowledge about that you need knowledge about the physiology of birth and how it happens and how your body changes and how your body's or how your baby's body works down through the birth canal so much is going on and that will give you so much confidence after all you've grown your baby up to this point without any need for intervention and you can birth your baby in the same way also start to understand 
understand how do other moms work through their birthing time, right? How do other moms do this? Because that will help you. Reading good natural birth stories is a great place to start. I even like birth stories over videos because if a birth story doesn't resonate with you, you're not left with the visuals from that story playing over in your mind, but rather you can just go on and read more and find ones that resonate with you. I read my favorite birth stories over and over again. And then of course you can get educated, learn skills. Skills make the difference. Thinking I'm not going to be able to handle this and so you don't do any preparation or thinking this is all natural. I'll be able to handle it. And then you don't do any preparation. Both of those tend to be a recipe for a birth that isn't what you wanted it to be. But when you prepare for birth, when you understand your body, just that intellectual knowledge, and then also you develop skills, you and your birth partner have skills and techniques and methods, it really makes a difference. Going into birth skilled and informed makes you an empowered mom who's more likely to have the birth that you want and to be able to handle it. Like I said, my 11 mom tested techniques for handling labor pain are a great place to start. This is my most popular download and I would love to get it to you. Just drop a line below and I will send that to you uh, in messenger and I will be back to talk with you again tomorrow.